What do we got here? We have three monitors. And I do really like the fact that this person, just for like maximum degeneracy, put their monitor in front of their window. Because I don't want Jesus to know that I'm looking at what I'm looking at on this computer. So he puts his monitor in front of the window to prevent Jesus from seeing him. And you know what? I bet Jesus appreciates it. Let me go down and let's start this up. The first one, the first viewer setup. Hmm. It's very, very basic. I, I kind of like this though. Uh, I mean, he's obviously watching my stream, so that's a plus right there. And yeah, I mean, he's got the, like, but why is, why is everything pink though? Why is everything pink? I don't know about that, man. Like that one is kind of odd. It's purple, not pink, bro. Like, look at that shit around the, look at that shit around the mouse pad. Is that pink or is that purple, guys? Like, tell me right now, is that pink or is that purple? That's fucking pink, okay? I'm like, that's fucking pink, 100%. Decent setup, not amazing, but it's a decent setup. Let me go to the next one. Wow. This guy spent all his money on a curved monitor, and he can't afford anything else to put on his desk. And he's just got that random ass fucking thing of that guy that being mad over there. Yeah, look at that. He's just got. I feel like this is decent though. Like I always, I always like setups that are. Um, what do you call it? I, I like setups that are very basic. They're clean. There's not like anything crazy or weird about them. They're just very clean, well put together setups. This is a wooden desk, which is definitely a few steps down for me. I'm not a big fan of wooden desks, but overall. I do like it. It's minimalistic. Yeah, I like the minimalism of it. That's definitely good. It could be a standing desk too. Oh, it is. I'm pretty sure it is because it can go up and down. The chair is decent too, even though it looks a little bit weird. Overall, I think this is okay. This is a decent setup. I like it. And especially because he's watching my stream and he's also playing WoW, even though it's on a widescreen monitor, which I do think is kind of scuffed. Now, that's the next one. Let's go to the next one here. Okay. All right. So, this is what you like to call a struggle setup. This man has one monitor. He has a BenQ monitor from 2012. His keyboard is from 2009. And you know how Best Buy has like two keyboard sections? They have like the keyboard section for the good keyboards, and they have the keyboard section for the mom keyboards and the I don't know how to use a computer people. This is like the mid-range of the shitty keyboard aisle. He's got a piss bottle on the right, which is decent. Actually, he's got multiple piss bottles, and he's using a Steel Series mouse. This is the same mouse that I'm using right now, so I can respect that. And his desk itself, what is his desk? It's literally an ironing board. This man is living it. This man is doing what he needs to do. His desk is a straight up fucking ironing board. This man right here, he's had a lot of challenges in his life. He's worried about a lot of things in his life. Things could be better, but they could be worse. At least he has one monitor. What's this one here? Oh, wow. That's really nice. Holy shit. This is some clean ass shit. So he's got his mic right there, obviously, his Blue Yeti. He's got the little light, the little ring light over there, the webcam in the middle. He's got three monitors. This guy is living in 2009, okay? He's got some nice shoes down below. He's got the shit from his uh, from his window that fell off onto the ground. He doesn't have a problem to fix that. He doesn't have problems with that. He doesn't need to fix that, though. His, mo his desk, though, do you know where you get that desk? Let me tell you. You get that desk in the outdoor area of Walmart. The chair is kind of scuffed, to be honest. Like the chair is kind of scuffed. Um, I don't like that. I don't like leather chairs. The reason why I don't like leather chairs is because you're gonna sit at the table and at the chair all day, and you're gonna sweat, and they make you sweat even more than you normally would, and then you're going to sweat and then stick to the chair. So you guys need to understand. Like I have been sitting in chairs playing video games for a long time. So whenever I give you my advice about this, trust me that you're being informed by a professional. Let's go to the next one. All right, I'm gonna try to give this an honest rating, okay? You know what, you motherfucker? 
You want to talk this shit? Next time I get a Pizza Hut delivery, I'm going to pretend like I'm not going to give them a tip. I'll give them a tip. But that's what it is. That's what he's got that right there. That's his fucking Pizza Hut delivery thing that he puts on his fucking car. And this is the same dude that's delivering pizzas, probably watching my stream while he's driving around, calling me a naked mole rat in my chat. That's what it is. That's what, I know what this is because my friend used to deliver pizzas at Pizza Hut and he had the same goddamn thing. You think you're going to fool me with this shit? Where's my fucking pizza? Just kidding. I like Domino's better. With your busted ass lamp that's on the back. Look at that lamp. That's just knocked all the fuck around. This is insane. You're going to call me Asmon Bald Naked Mole Rat. But you know what? You got me on two of your monitors. So who's really winning here? I would say I am. Let's go to the next one. Three. See, you guys thought you were funny, right? The middle monitor is the same monitor. I baited you into saying three, knowing that you would say that whenever I said two. That way I could call you stupid. Just take it, okay? I have to take it every fucking day. You guys can take one L. Go to the next one. Danny. What do you got for us, Danny? What the hell? Well, how the fuck do you sit in that? What the hell? Man, this shit sucks. Like, bro, you got a fire hazard that's in the- Look at that, that's a fire hazard right there. That's worse than mine. Never mind, it's not worse than mine. Yeah, regardless, mine's actually way worse. I'm actually surprised that I haven't burnt the house down yet. Yeah, this is fucking terrible. Like, you've got three different cans there. You've got fucking Dos Equis, you've got a Red Bull can, I'm pretty sure, and you've got Powerade, okay? This dude... This dude's going too hard. And he's got the little, little peepo, all right? That's the only good thing. The only reason you guys are rating this highly, the only reason you guys are saying anything good about this is because of the little fucking peepo that you, for some reason, have decided to relate to. Other than that, this is an absolute cock of a setup. This is the biggest cock of a setup that I've ever seen. And on top of that, this guy has, I believe, two separate fucking computers. How do I know that? Because he has two separate mice. But he only has one keyboard. So he has two mice that are plugged in because those are both mice and you can see the light coming out of both of them. But he only has one keyboard. So how the fuck is he going to use two keyboards or one keyboard for two mice? Who is he playing two with two hands like this? He's a multi-boxer? He's a multi-mouser. We're going to go to the next one. Hopefully we're going to get some better, uh, better contestants here. So this is somebody here. She has a WoW avatar as her character. Let's see what we've got. I'm going to allow that. I will allow this, this bullying for one reason. That you put that bitch in a trash. You threw that bitch away! He th she threw her in the trash. Honestly, this setup is fucking amazing. Like, I, I really, really like this setup a lot. This is fucking awesome. Like, everything about this is really well designed. Like, this is some straight up fucking, like... This is really, really good. Like, it's an actual artist. She's got, like, her, her art pad that's, like, right there where, like, I'm pointing at. That's really, really good. She's got her own, like, little lamp if she wants to draw something herself. She's got plants in there so the plants can turn into pencils and she can draw with those. Then she's got her monitor in the middle. Now, the only thing that I'm going to take away from this setup is the fact that she's only got one monitor. How the fuck are you going to have one monitor? You've got three computers. You've got a drawing pad. You've got a tablet. But you don't have a second monitor? It's like you're living in 2020 and 20, like 2005 at the same time. And then she's got the Warcraft cosmology chart. She's got Ragnaros thing there. I mean, I think overall, this is a really nice and well put together setup. Now, I do want to say, though, one thing that I do take points away from, or I don't really, I don't take points away from it, but I think it's kind of a meme, is whenever people use the gaming chairs, a racing chair. How fast are you trying to go? Buy a nice office chair and just sit in the office chair. 
<laughs> okay, we're gonna go to the next one. All right, this is from somebody named Big Anime Titties. Okay. So, this is AKA Fox Slayers. Uh, this is his new house, it's his new apartment. And he wanted to uh, show us his new setup here. I don't know really what to think about somebody who clearly wants to have sex with Sailor Moon. That's clearly what we're at here. But what do we got here? We have three monitors. And I do really like the fact that this person, just for like maximum degeneracy, put their monitor in front of their window. Because they're like, I don't want sun to get through because this place is a place where the sun doesn't shine because I don't want Jesus to know that I'm looking at what I'm looking at on this computer. So he puts his monitor in front of the window to prevent Jesus from seeing him. And you know what? I bet Jesus appreciates it. Let's look at what he's got going on here. So we've got one monitor right here. Oh. He's got Lysol. How's it, how bad does this dude smell, man? God damn. What you got that for? Where's the tissues, bro? Like, what the fuck? Oh my god. What is all this? Look at these little bat boys. Oh my god. What is it? They got the little figurines. Oh shit, dude. Oh my god. Look at them all. And the little stickers. Oh my, oh, this is just so fucking, oh my god. Like, I get liking anime, but do you have to like anime this much? It's a girl? Uh, yeah, you really think it's a girl? This is a, this is a dude, man. This dude has more hair on his back than I probably have on my head. Listen, for weeb setups, here's my advice, man. If you're a weeb, be a weeb. Go all out. Get 18 different figurines of the same fucking girl. And just put them all over. Or different girls. Put them all over. Like, go all in. Because what I'm seeing here, this is somebody who's not fully ready and willing to admit what they are. They're afraid of being known for what they truly are. It's okay. You can be a weeb. Don't be ashamed of it. But have a little bit of shame. That's it. Let's go to the next one. It's a very big, uh, a very big fan of, um, this is what you like to call, uh, this is called the dick-nosed monkey. And, uh, that's actually what, uh, Charles Darwin called it. And, um, yeah, this is, this is the dick-nosed monkey. And, uh... <laughs> oh my god. Wait, the first second I saw it, I was like, oh, what? I'm like, my mods are fucking up. And then I actually looked at it, and it's like, just this thing, man. Does it get erect? Oh my god. Yeah, what if he blows his nose? Does it, like, flap and flip around? Oh my fuck, man. It's Polish? That's so weird, dude. That is so fucking weird. I don't even want to think about that. Okay, let's look at the setup. If we can even take our eyes off of this, uh, th that, that schnoz, okay? Um, look. The setup sucks. Okay? Like, this is everything wrong with the setup, okay? Let me explain what's wrong with it. Number one, your monitors are, they're, they're, they don't really fit together very well. They're different sizes, which is awkward. Number two, your keyboard is on the desk, which it should never be on the desk, because if the keyboard is on the desk, then that makes not less room to put your drinks on the desk. So you don't want to have your keyboard on the desk because that's where your drinks go. On top of that, it's a wooden desk, which is disgusting. I hate wooden desks. You should only have, yeah, no, I'm being serious. On top of that, we're going to keep going. He has a keyboard tray, and he's not using it, but he is using it. He's using it for a Diablo 3 mouse pad. That was a mistake. That was a straight-up goddamn motherfucking mistake. He should not have done that. 
Now, you know what the third and final, or fifth and final mistake he made was? Let me show, let me show you guys what the fifth and final mistake was. It's right there. I bought that mouse. Do you know how long it lasted? Three days. This is, this is what you like to call a real gamer. And who's this from? This is from Necrolord854 on Twitter. Necrolord, this is incredible. The amount of time and effort you put into this is amazing. But you want to know what's not amazing? Is the boots that you have on your classic WoW warrior. Look at those pieces of shit. Look at those dog shit ass pieces of garbage. Nobody wants to see that. Let's go down to the rest of these. He also has gummy lifesavers. I'm impressed by that. I like gummy lifesavers. They're fucking delicious. Now, the reason why I like this one is because of how many cups it has on it. It reminds me a lot of my own setup. And whenever I see something that reminds me of myself, I think that's good because I'm good. He's got a massive fucking mouse pad of the Lich King. I like that a lot. How many cups does he have here? He has, what's the, 7, 8, 20, he's got about 15 cups. And also, he's got a Dr. Pepper down there in the middle, right between his fucking legs whenever he plays the game. He reaches down, he takes a glug out of the Dr. Pepper, and he goes back to trying to farm a better pair of boots for his shitty-ass undead warrior that he should have rolled into an orc instead, so he was actually useful in the fucking raids. Let's look at the other ones. From Will the Thrill 89. My setup starring Tiger Panda, Yep Cock. Okay. I have to say this is good. Like this is a this is a really good setup. Like straight up, this is good setup. It's simple, it's clean, it's well defined. The only thing that I'm gonna take points off of here is the fact that he has water on his desk and not Dr. Pepper. He's even got probably a picture of like him and his dad in the middle. That's fucking awesome, man. Imagine masturbating with his dad watching. You just flip the picture over, okay? It's not a big deal. Or you do it in the dark so you can't see it. Uh, there's two other ways you can solve that problem. And uh, trust me, guys, uh, there's plenty of other ways to do it. Yeah, you just, you turn the picture around. It's like people can watch you and that's fine because it's a fucking frog. You know, like, it, it's not a big deal. Uh, regardless, this does look pretty cool and I like it. This is a good setup. Yeah, this is not really that bad. Oh, wow. This is actually really good. Damn. It's him and his wife. It's not even his girlfriend, it's his wife. So we've got view image. Let me just view image. So we've got the two, uh, all the skateboards there, which are uh, the skateboard decks, which are badass. They have a little, oh, that's so good. They have a little cat bed in the middle so they can both pet the cat whenever he's standing there. They have the two, wait, what is that? What is that in the corner there? Is that what I think it is? Oh, it is. Look what they have. Look what they have. Just a minute. Let me go all the way down here. So they have a fly problem. And that right there is an electric fly swatter. You can buy these on Amazon and you can buy them at Walmart. And these little electric fly swatters, if you hit a fly with them, it'll blow the fly up, man. They're fucking awesome. I've had like five of these. These are amazing. He's got the Illidan's Warglaves, all that kind of shit. This is really, really, really fucking badass, man. The Ironforge, uh, Ironforge screensaver, everything about this looks really, really well done. Uh, I like it a lot, man. Uh, Boomer Juice hot sauce? Well, yeah, I mean, like, that's, they use the hot sauce for, like, the, uh, the flies, I guess, right? They're eating a lot of food in their room, and then, you know, the food attracts the flies, and they zap the shit out of the flies, and they put the hot sauce on the flies, and you call those toppings. It's exactly how it works, man. What's wrong with that? Yeah, he's got a gamer wife, man. He's a lucky guy. Very, very lucky guy. Let's go to the next one. The fuck is this? Look at the top right. Did he really print out a picture of me? That's got- no, that's Photoshop, man. I- I- that's gotta be fucking Photoshop. There's no way. Okay, it was Photoshop. Alright, never mind. I was so worried there for a second. Okay, it's fine. Alright, so let's see here. He's got one monitor. Alright, that's definitely not very good. On top of that, he has the little ship. I like the ship. The ship is cool. 
Uh, the keyboard is nice. The keyboard tray is good, too. In general, I kind of like this. I feel like this reminds me of, like, one of the old school setups. It's like this is a setup that you have out in the garage. So you have one monitor, you've got the scuffed TV, you've got the little mini TV, which is positive. I feel like the best part of this setup is the ship. Okay. Wait. I got this one for my mom. The little stuffed animal. The one right up there. I, I got this one for my mom. Overall, so I'm going to give him some points here because of the fact that he has food there. Okay? Like an empty glass of food is something that makes me feel more comfortable in a different place. Right? A different, an area of food. Like you just got food sitting around. There's like flies buzzing around. And it just feels like you're in the gamer you're in the gamer moment. You're having a gamer moment. You're sitting there on your desk with your weird little fucking owl thing and you're laying there on the, on the fucking bed, sitting there playing WoW. There's food everywhere, birds flying around you or flies flying around you. And you just feel like you're, uh, you feel like you're part of it. You feel like you're having an experience. I like this a lot. I think this is a nice looking setup. The keyboard, though, is fucking garbage. This keyboard is the size of a tablet. Who the fuck wants this kind of a keyboard? Like, what are you supposed to type on there? Is this a keyboard for ants? And wait, look at the mouse! What the fuck? Is this Andre the Giant's mouse? Look at it, it's massive! It's, a, it's half the size of the keyboard! Wow. Poor man setup. Just look at the legs, just like Asmon Bald. My legs are not that skinny. They are not that fucking skinny. Like I have I have normal I have normal size like look at that. My legs are normal sized. That's completely fucking normal. Like I am skinny, but so are deers. Like, look at a horse's legs. A horse's legs can run fast, but they don't need to be thick. I, I don't... I, I'm not a thick boy, okay? I am a stick boy. This, this setup is fucking garbage. This setup is like... This is like whenever you stay the night at your friend's house. This is the setup that you guys land out with. Is you have like your shitty fucking monitor, your your shitty laptop that you fuck you hook up to like a keyboard. This is exactly what it is. This is a mom. I'm staying. You know, Billy is staying the night, and he's gonna set up his keyboard and and computer over there, and we're gonna play land. We're not money shaming anybody, okay? Like, listen, I used to have a scuffed ass setup too. You guys want to see my setup from back in the day? This is me. Hello, everyone. Okay, that was me. That was my fucking desk. I'm still sitting in that exact same place right now. Like, I understand the struggle. I understand the lifestyle. I understand what it takes. I get it. This is decent. It's clean. But it's shitty. Do you know what you use laptops for? Nothing. Because you buy a PC. A gaming laptop. I had to buy my mom a gaming laptop, actually. Two thousand fucking dollars, man. Let me go to the next one. So we've got obviously this is the setup. I like this in a way because he has four monitors. Four monitors. But you know what's so sad about those four monitors? I'm gonna show you what's sad about them. He can't even come up with one good transmog. Look at that. You know what I think it is? Is he's using an HP monitor from back in 2006 whenever they started selling them as uh, standalone PCs. And he still has it from all the way back then. And the color correction and the color toning on the monitor is so absolutely bad that he's convinced himself he actually has a good set. Well, let me set you straight. This is a terrible, terrible, terrible fucking set. You're playing WoW on windowed mode? This is just... I, I can't believe it. Like, look at this. He's got an Overwatch fucking desk mat. What is this? And it's like, also... It's like, this is like fucking... It's like Two-Face. 
you've got that right there. This side of the of the desk is completely fucking clean. And this side of the desk is like my desk. He's got his keys, his wallet there. He's got some fucking deodorant, his headphones. It's just a shithole. Regardless, I think this is a decent looking setup. It's it's fine, I guess. Um, yeah, it could be it could be much worse. I'll say that for sure. Let me go down to the next one. What the hell is this shit? What do you think? Asmon set up too. I kind of like it, but here's what I'm not really a fan of. I don't like the keyboard. I think the keyboard, he's trying too hard. Like, he's trying way too hard with this keyboard. Like, look at the colors on it and everything about it. Like, just chill out with the keyboard, man. Buy a normal keyboard. Like, you don't need to show everybody that you're from 2001 A Space Odyssey every time you want to buy a fucking keyboard. Just buy a fucking keyboard and stick with it. And then on top of that, let's look at the rest of these. Let's go ahead. Let's zoom in here. Let's see what he's got going on. So we've got this right here. Get your lenses perfectly clean. I don't know what the fuck that is. Oh, I guess he's a cameraman. That's good. He's got his little uh, whatever the hell that is. I don't know. What is this? It's a, a, a thermo cup. You, what, no, you need a soda cup. What the hell is that, man? The fucking thermo cup. He's, so he's got three monitors right here. Now, generally, I'm not like a huge fan of like three monitor setups in this way, but I'm okay with this one. What do you guys think? This is a generally well-designed setup, but like, I feel like we're not getting any of them here. Like, I'm gonna go to the next one. Like, I wanna get a setup here that's just fucking lit. Like a setup that is 100% fucking lit. Let's go to this one right here. Okay. So, the best thing about this setup is the camera angle. That is the best thing about it. This setup looks really good because of the camera angle. This is an amazing camera angle. And also he does have a Smash Pro controller. You're right about that. So if you add those two things together, you've got the Smash Pro controller and you have the good camera angle. I think this is a pretty good looking setup. And he's got the picture of Azeroth in the background. This is decent, but look at the mantle. Look at the, uh, what do you call it? Around the windowsill there. That's some dirty ass fucking cobweb dead spider shit going on at the edge of the windowsill. And to be honest, I've got plenty of that behind here for me too. But the difference is that my entire my entire room is a piece of shit, so it's not as bad. You either have to have everything be a piece of shit or nothing be a piece of shit. You can't have one or the other. If you do that, it's not going to work. Okay? And the rest of this, I do think, does look pretty good. I really like the, the chair, everything about it. What do you guys think about this one? It's worse, but consistent. Yeah, it's, and also, yeah, there's not really a lot of mouse room. I don't use a lot of mouse room either, honestly. Uh, so it's not really too weird for me, but I can see other people that might not really like that as much. All right, let's go to the next one. See what else we've got. What is this? What is this? What flag is that? Yeah, what flag is that? I don't even know what the hell it is. It's an LGBT flag? I thought that was like a rainbow. Okay, so let's talk about positives here. Number one, he has a Nintendo Switch. He's playing The Witcher 3. And I really like his uh, his shelves there. I like the, the hat on the shelves. I like the goblet on the shelves. The little, uh, the little radio thing looks like it came out of fucking like... 2001 I, I, that radio is stuck on playing girlfriend by avril lavigne that's fucking amazing i love it he's got two monitors i'm on one of them that's fucking amazing overall i like it yeah i actually think this one is decent i don't think it's amazing but i think that it's decent and um let's see what are the other things he's got going on here what the hell is this what the fuck is this what is this what is that thing with the buttons on it? Is that a calculator? Don't you guys have phones?